Okay, so the problem is uh, intersecting with Ike. So, oh, God damn. Whoa, slow down, mate. Slow down. I need, I need time. Time is on my side. So, I'm going to bring you as close as I can. As close as I dare, should I say. Uh, periapsis. Uh, no, I don't want... Okay, keep going closer, I need, I need to go closer. Plus I can't intercept Ike, I cannot intercept Ike. Unless I can intercept Ike and then that's going to be what I'm going to do there. So how do I need it? 50 meters delta V, right, okay. Let's begin this burn now. That should, in theory, uh, put us closer. Um, now I need this to go right down, right down. Keep burning this point here. Um, saying this, I need to raise it up a little bit. Perhaps maybe I should have burnt here. Oh, this is going down quite nicely. As long as this comes off exactly the same as what it was, we are going to have no problem. Oh god, um... Right, Sonic, get down as low as you can. Take it down to 10,000 meters, perhaps? I think that's going to be the one. There we go. Right, okay, so now that's done. I need to get myself more equatorial, as it were. This is going to be a one hell of a harsh burn. I don't know if the thing's got enough to do it. Right, here we are. We're on our... What's it called? We're getting here. Um, perhaps maybe while I'm in Ike's gravity, I can do some magic with this here. Um, maybe if I move... That like that. Ah, yes. But the problem with this that I'm having now is... Uh, oh, God. Um... Take it there, and then I need to get it as flat as possible while using as little uh, engine fuel, engine fuel, fuel for my engines as I can. Right, okay, so that looks like your point of burn, 36 meters delta V. That's probably going to be okay, I think. Three seconds of burn. All right, here we go. So, whizz your way up to there. Silence. Apologies, people. Silence is me concentrating. Right, nice. That should be okay. 8,000 meters. Perhaps maybe if I could uh, uh, bring that out to... How are we doing on the mono? Not very good. Uh, get around to the exact opposite point of this. And then um, what I'll do... So try to get that up to 10,000. No, that's not working. Right, okay, sod it, let's go. Um, I'll do one more orbital adjustment when we get on Juna's actual gravity uh, pull. So, almost. What have we got? Um, 8,000 meters. So, adjust the maneuver. We're going to pull you out a little bit. We're going to try and flatten you down as well. Um, yeah, that sh should be a bit better. What's the periapsis? 23, reduce it to 10. Oh, 3000, that's a bit much. There needs to be where you can actually select uh, nodes and have it still like st go sticky on screen. Like th this bit here, if you can select the periapsis and just leave it on screen so you can adjust like a bit more filing, you don't have to keep on doing this. 10,000 meters, right, okay. We're good, we're good, I think. I'm gonna do one final quick save, and that should be it. It'll be time to do some re-entry operations, I think, and hopefully, 
I'll be uh, a good, uh, what's it called, a good angle to come straight in and straight back out for aero capture. Alright, take it down to a zero, go. That should be nigh on perfect. It is, right, quick save. Oh yes, Juna, you sexy, sexy beasts. It's good to be back, man. It's good to be back. I do like Juna. Right. It's where shit gets tense, people. I hope this isn't a failure right here. Oh, are we in? Oh, we are. We're in as well. Right, get up to the right direction. Um, going around the 270 marker, which is always fun. I'm not sure if I know how to get back from the 270 marker, to tell the truth, but never mind. We'll have to see what we can do. Right, you hold yourself there. I am going to quick save and time warp this thing. And hopefully it won't rip itself apart. He says. It shouldn't do. The new SAS is like pretty damn awesome for this kind of thing. Ah oh, yes. <gasps> ooh, 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 that was a bit violent. Don't know about that. How are we doing for fuel? Hmm. We should have enough to uh, do everything, I hope anyway. Ah oh, yes, yeah, sunrise over June, let's have a look at this as we go in through re-entry. Stream can't see the re-entry effects. Oh, that's because they're dying down, <laughs> derp. Oh god, I hate it when it does this, camera, derp, stop doing this for me. Three, there we go. Oh yes, if that wasn't a screenshot, if there ever was one. It was a bit dark, I have to come back to that I think. But yeah, there's nothing quite like a Juno Sunrise. Alright, here we go. So, uh, how are we doing? Ooh, ooh, not cool at all. How high are we? Um, 10,000. We're going to have to help this out as much as we can. I forget when you stopped having an influence on us, so uh, could be tough times ahead. Oh god, um, I think I might have come in a bit too steep. A bit too steep indeed, but uh, I'm going to work with what I've got. Right, keep you up to about 100. I think that should be a good height. Try not to blitz too much of my fuel. Don't know. There we are. That should mm, reduce too high now. I don't think. It does let's, let's just oh, let's just keep it under control. Yeah, it's, it's, it's requiring less and less for us to actually keep this aloft. So I think we could be on our way here. But my craft is going everywhere, man. Behave yourself. Oh, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. And we've used like marginally no fuel, so that's always good. Ah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we've reached the happy medium of where we are. So now all we've got to do is boost out our apoapsis on uh, periapsis on the other side. And we should have a nice complete orbit. Uh, trick is from there is going to be to normalize such things. So, uh, first off, let's plot this thing out so we've got it nice and equal. P -E -P -E. We can't ask for any better than that, really, can we? So, uh, where's our thing going to be? Aha, right there. Uh, we should, in theory, be out of the atmosphere now as well. Yeah, we are, so let's get ready. So we need to do some crazy burns. Ooh. So it's nice and cool on here today. I don't really need the fan on. It's been lovely these past couple of weeks, and then today he's just like levered it down with rain. Derpy derp. Dirty derpy derpy rain. Ugh. Right, we're almost we're done with this part of the mission. We can move on to the next part for the landing. Oh, that will be coming in another episode, I think. This episode's taken quite a bit to get here. Considering how many orbital corrections I've done along the way, it's took me a little bit longer than what it normally would. But, uh, I'm not 
too fast. We did get here quite accurately and with quite a bit more fuel than what I normally would have. Oh crap. Um, get down to this. Reduce those final delta Vs on that marker. Let's make it accurate, man. Um, I think that's about as accurate as I can get it. Uh, 102.99. Yeah, it's not so bad. Right. I now need to find the ascending and descending node to make this completely equatorial. So, how much delta V is this going to cost? 112. Uh, oh, God. Uh, we'll do this on the dark side, shall we? It'll be a lot. Oh, no, we can't. We have to do it. Here, perhaps the exact opposite of where we just were. So I want to make this as equatorial as I can. It's got to make it a lot easier for rendezvousing off afterwards. I think. Um, 113. If I can keep the AP and where's the new PE? Uh, 101. Perhaps maybe if I re reduce that a little bit, I can get 100 and 200. Yeah, that's not so bad. That's that's probably more like it. Where's my node? Where well, am I going to go for my node? Yeah. And this should be, in theory, the final correction I have to make. And then we're ready to start everything else off. Alright, okay. Let's go around. 113, it's got to take 14 seconds of burn. That's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. Alright, here we go. Hold it there, as close as you can, mate. It's very important you hold this as close as you can. Uh, Delta V is going down nice and slowly. What? There we go. Now, it doesn't look entirely perfect, but in all fairness, it's good enough. Oh, man. Right. Okay, let's go over to the light side so we can end this episode and start fixing my ship up ready to go down to the surface of Juna. Right, here we are. This looks good. This looks good indeed. So, RCS is looking okay. Total fuel, not so much. Um, we've definitely got enough to land. We definitely have got enough to land. Now, the interplanetary ring itself won't be coming with me on this trek. Who knew it? We're staying right here. So, uh, if I get this tank and transfer that into there, and then take the other tank and do the same with that, and then have to do some balancing, I think, to get the tanks just perfect, these two top tanks up there, because otherwise it'll fly all over the place and it won't be any good. Uh, is this going to fill this up? I don't think it is going to fill up all the way. Oh, just about. Nice. Okay, so in theory, the other one should do the back tank. Oh, we already have fuel in there. That's not so bad. Oh, crap. Um, I forgot that there was like a tiny wee whip of fuel inside the space plane itself. That's not so bad. Um, now, the trick is going to be equalizing the other tanks, which I think is something I'll do while the other space plane is on the surface. Nice, nice indeed. So with that said and done, turn me craft around. Don't know why I was doing it upside down. Just remember that it's from the top tanks that I've taken this from, not the bottom tanks. I can then start balancing some fuel out. Now, uh, it's going to take me a while to do such things. I'll do that another time. I'm going to cut the episode here, and when we come back, we're going to be flying down to Juno, me thinks. It's been pretty exciting thus far, despite the whole length of time getting here. If you've liked this episode, don't forget to leave a like, and if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you on a bit, people. Peace out.